You have the most unprofessional hey. little scaredy cat. Fast, get out of here. What? No! You no. won't even fight yeah. me like a man. I won't fight you like a man. Like a man. Like Let's go! Go! And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, into the Rowdy Studios, where I, Bassmasters, and my colleague Buzz Cutler sit with the always controversial Jeff Gluck of SB Nation. What did I do this time? I don't know, but I'm sure it's Just, about oh, to okay. happen. The okay. mere fact of you, Jeff. The mere the, fact the of you. The fact soft, that I exist. He's soft-spoken, and yet not afraid to tell it like it is. Okay. So tell us like it is as far as these driver rivalries go. I mean, you were saying to us that Boris said and Greg Biffle, we thought we were going to have a, a nice fist fight somewhere no in the kidding, Charlotte right? area. Now they're like going out for pizza or something. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like you thought Boris said was this close to really showing up outside Biffle's door. I mean, you you believed it because yeah. he kept saying, oh, I'm going to go to his house. Yeah, he said it on a couple different places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they talked for like an hour on the phone the other day, yesterday, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, well, it's water under the bridge and... Boris was on NASCAR now saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter, and all the stuff. And Yeah, and Biffle's loofah-ing his, his back now. <laughs> That's that, really gross. Loofah-ing. Yeah. It's a hard word to get out I of should, I should have gone with a different. I well, gone he did with have massage. a lot of dead skin that he needed to be taken care <laughs> of. Exfoliation <laughs> is underappreciated. Absolutely, right. especially in the NASCAR garage. Well, what about Jimmy and Kurt? They hate each other. Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to get too escalated because Kurt represents the largest corporation in the world or something like that, right? Joe Benzoil. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, he can't he can't afford to just keep taking shots at the Hendrick Pretty Boys all the time. And then Jimmy is not the kind of guy that's just going to keep it up week after week. And isn't that the and problem? Isn't Jimmy that Jimmy why the hopes. isn't that why the rivalries have gone with the wind because there's two because of the moneyed interests? I think that I think that has a lot to do with it. But I also think the way that the drivers are now, um, you know, like Jeff Gordon has, has said a couple times, he, back in his day when he was coming up, they didn't call each other. They didn't even have each other's phone numbers. You know, right. to like they make probably up. didn't really have cell phones. Right, that's what he said, actually, yeah. And Jeff Gordon I mean, is a guy who doesn't necessarily call you after every on-track incident. No, because he says it's that's just that's for later. called racing, right. Right, I mean, you know, to text each other, to call each other. The thing is, they all live in the motorhome lot together. That's the other they're thing. They're all buddies. They're all staying at the track together right. in a little, a little It's not little like they're at hotels hat. like they used to be. Right. You know what I mean? And um, so I just think that all of that, the, the proximity, Twitter... Um, texting, email, call, whatever. The wives hanging out together. Yeah, it's all this big family, and so there's not a lot of clashing in inside the family because any incidents they get nipped in the bud. Well, there's know? one other thing too, which is you gotta remember that you take a number of potential rivalries out of the equation when you start thinking about four car teams because right. that just lessens the ability of, for two drivers to get into it with each other. Who yeah. knows whether Greg Biffle. And uh, Carl Edwards would get into it if they weren't probably. Teammates, right? oh, and who knows how, how the Jimmy and um, Jeff thing would have gone last year, right? right. Or you the know? Matt Kenseth Carl Edwards thing, right? Well, and the other thing is, you know, years ago you could go out behind the hauler and you could duke it out, and nobody would be the wiser. You could do that anonymously. It's really hard to do anything these days without somebody finding out about it and, and reporting it. I mean, really, right. the Richard Childress. Uh, Kyle Busch thing is a perfect example. Old school, maybe nobody would have found out about Although that. Although, I think Richard Childress got some pretty positive feedback <laughs> for that. <laughs> That's true. If you're being honest but about you, it. I mean, it, it's almost surprising in a way that the, that the Childress Kyle Busch thing wasn't caught on camera because it's like everything is these days. I mean, you think back to the you Kevin Harvick. You would have a cell phone and catch oh, yeah, video. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Think back to the Harvick Car, uh, Carl Edwards thing yep. with the choke a few years yep. ago. I mean, that's something again where there normally might not have been a camera around and all of a sudden it's like wow there was pictures of that can't yep. believe it you know um i mean it's not nascar but you think back to irl even where uh the double bird i won't i won't do it for you can do it on rally yeah <laughs> no you'll bleep it no oh, okay you well can't do it. you can't actually bleep out something visually you have you to can't? do something different you have to mat it. it out you pixelate it Generally anyway pixelate it. well uh this i won't do it so Will you don't bird, have to worry about Will that powers You're, double bird right right um even that's on camera because, you know, he probably had no idea he was on camera. He wouldn't have done it because he's walking behind some haulers or whatever back. And he's like, you know, just expressing himself. Right. Right. So what do we do without these robberies? I mean, we love these robberies and we get a little bit of it. Anytime there is one, anytime there is a Jimmy Kurt or a Biffle Boris, there's a lot of attention to it. I mean, that's good for us, right? It's, it's great. It's something to talk about. It's not good for them, though, because they want to stay out of the spotlight. 
and it distracts from their racing. I mean, that's, that's something it, it takes away too. Right. Is but it's not in their own self-interest, either guy, to get in a long-running feud. Did Bobby Allison and, and Richard Petty, did their racing suffer because of their feud? Did David Pearson and, and Richard Petty's racing and, and competitive advantage suffer because of their rivalry? But it wasn't played out in the media, and they didn't have us going and asking them questions about it after every practice or whatever. Well, here's another know? aspect. If you look back in the day, there were, uh, far fewer, there were far fewer cars that could really contend for race wins and championships. Far fewer. So to get in a rivalry with one other guy was a little bit different. And here, if you, if you take a few points off your score because you're duking it out with some other guy, that could cost you a chance at the championship quite easily. Well, yeah, you think back to Tony Stewart even at Sonoma where he's that like, I don't even him care the if it cost me the chase. It you know, take, and it, it, right, it might. It might. And that would be a really, I mean, that would be a lesson to a lot of people to look back and say, wow. You know, you got guys at, not worth after it. Watkins Glen going to NASCAR and saying, I just need one more point out of this race. Yeah. One more point. That's Standing how competitive it is. Yeah. So you can't afford these little things that take, even if it takes four or five points away from your score or ten points away from your score, you right. can't afford that. You never know what it's going to come down to. So lack of rivalries, bad for the fans, good for the drivers is basically what I we're saying. I think so. Yeah. And for us, also bad. Yeah, for us. Cause we're but we still find a way to talk about it in a video anyway. Yeah, we'll talk about what we, there isn't to talk about or right. something. Right, that's what you do best. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.